Hello everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, it's an announcement video. Welcome if you are brand new and welcome back if you are a long time subscriber. It is fantastic to see you. So yes, it is the first week of September and I am here with an announcement video to let you all know that Occult Detective October is back for another year. Last year I created this event and I had so many other booktubers, subscribers, viewers, I had so many people participate and we literally just scratched the surface. When I tell you the overwhelming nature of occult detective books out there, it's amazing. It's truly amazing. So this is not that video with giving you picks. This is the video to let you know to make some room in your TBR. Make some room for something a little spooky. Now, the thing with occult detectives is there's a little bit of a mystery. There's a little bit of detecting. There's some possibly police procedural. There's some private investigator. There's some type of a mystery and investigation that's going on. And the core element is that there's something that can't be explained. There's something supernatural. There's something otherworldly involved. And that's what makes it a cult, a cult detective October. Okay. So, um, quick examples of what an occult detective is. Um, the X-Files, Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo, the Scooby-Doo gang. They are occult detectives. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, we have Karnacki. You can actually just put in occult detective on Kindle Unlimited and so many different options will show up. There are series, there are trilogies. Um, uh, Jim Butcher, The Dresden Files, those are occult detectives. Joe Pitt from the Joe Pitt series, occult detective, okay? So this is just something a little bit different for your October. Instead of just reading a straight vampire story or a Frankenstein story or a ghost story, let's put a little mystery, let's put a little supernatural twist to it. Okay. So it's meant to be fun. It's meant to be fun. This is not meant to be scary. And also if you've never read any type of light horror, cozy horror, this event could be for you. Really, really could be. There are some fantastic indie books out there that are mystery based. Okay. So it reads like a mystery, but maybe there's something just a little supernatural about it. Last year, there was a mystery that I started reading that had um, a girl, a woman, and a dachshund. And the dachshund was her sidekick, and she was the investigator, but the dachshund talked and helped her throughout the investigations. That type of thing, okay? So that's what we're talking about. So make room in your TBR. There are a slew of co-hosts this year. I will link everyone that I can think of that's participating in the event down below. And um, this week and probably the next two weeks, you're going to be seeing a lot of videos pop up with people talking about occult detectives, possibly making recommendations, um, and be sure to follow each and every single one of them. Now, I will say the event. If you want to participate in the event, all you have to do is just read one occult detective book. If you want to go full on in, we're not doing a bingo card or anything like that because October is such a fun reading month. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, take up the whole month on people. I don't want to take up the whole month. So we're not doing a bingo card or anything like that. We're keeping it easy breezy, um, but we are doing themed weeks. So week number one is going to be stories and books that were written pre-1960. So pre-1960, and there are a lot. There are so many anthologies and stories. It really is amazing. Then we're getting, gonna get into post-1960. So we have pre-1960, post-1960. 
Then week so week three is going to be diverse author or character. And week four is anything goes. Anything goes. If you want to read a story about a talking elephant that's there to solve mysteries, go for it. It's covered under that. <laughs> this event is meant to be fun. It's not meant to be scary or spooky or make people want to run to church. Now, are there books that will um, make you want to go to church? Of course there are, but this is not that's not the intention of it. The intention of it is to just read a little differently for October and put a little magic into your reading, okay? All right, so everyone, that is it here from me. Make some space in your dance card for Occult Detective October. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of others, and I will see you in my next video, whether that be sooner or later. So until next time, goodbye for now.